I know I said previously like, hey, don't go to the casino without a very precise plan. You wanna execute a very defined plan. I've, I'm here, I don't really have one. I've got a bunch of money available to me tonight. We're just gonna kinda go with the flow because I don't have a plan, I'm sorry. And I might, uh, I might end up regretting that. Let's just figure it out, let's see what happens, let's win some money. Uh, Lakers Pacers starts very soon. That's why I don't have much time to sit here and come up with a plan. We just, we gotta go in and get a sports bet in. All right, first things first, I'm gonna put $120 on the Indiana Pacers money line versus the Lakers, plus 120. I don't even necessarily care if this bet wins. I'm doing this because at some point, I'm gonna try and hedge if the Pacers have a lead. Here we go, virtual table games where I've been doing a lot of my damage lately. Starting out with $200 invested. I'm in for 200 bucks starting bankroll. Let's do some blackjack while I show you these hands here. Let me explain my Pacers bet, what I mean by hedge against myself in the future. If at any point tonight I find the Pacers with a 10 point lead or more in that ballpark, um, I'm going to go back and live bet the Lakers to come back money line. Doing that will make it so that with either outcome in the game, uh, we will get plus money and guarantee ourselves some sort of profit so long as they have a lead eventually. All right, we're up 20 bucks on blackjack. Let's move to roulette. Look at this. Look at the history of spins. What do you not see? In the entire history that I can pull up here, look at all those spins. I don't see any green. I don't see any zeros. We're going to bet five bucks each zero literally until this thing hits. We're just going to trust the process and hope that a zero finally comes. I mean, it's due, right? It's definitely due. It's definitely due. We didn't hit it on the first spin. And, you know, this can be a dangerous game, but I've got the bankroll. You know, these first two spins were free anyway. Those first, we made 20 bucks on blackjack. So these first two spins here were pretty much free. That was really close. Wow, that was close to a zero. 27 right next to zero, but that didn't pay us anything. Obviously, we need an actual zero. I'm going to keep spinning this thing out until we hit. I don't know how long it's going to take. Just keep trusting the process, baby. That's another loser. Each time we lose, it's 10 bucks down the drain. So here we go, here's our next spin. And if this one loses, we're down to 170 bucks. That's another loser. It'd be nice if the spin came now. Oh my God, is that it? Wow, it didn't even take that long. It did not even take that long, let's go. All it took was seven spins. We now are up $130. Let's play a little bit more blackjack. $10 hands, got to hit the 13, 16, got to hit that, busting. But it's the right play. Hey, everybody keeps telling me, quit hitting 16. Listen, against a 10, you hit 16. We hit it again, we bust again. I get it, I get it. You keep seeing me bust. It doesn't mean it's the wrong play. Let's up the bet. Another 13. We're not getting very good starting hands here. Of course, we're up against another 20. I'm going to double the bet again. Let's go 70 bucks, not 80, 70. Oh, man, I got to hit again. Finally, we don't bust. And there we go. Finally, a winner. Let's play a few more. I'm liking the position we're in here early. There's another 16 that we hit and bust. Listen, I get it, but you're not going to win a lot of hands with 16 against a, a virtual dealer, y'all. There we go. Yeah, I mean, playing virtual blackjack, sometimes I play a little bit off the book, you notice. I don't, I don't uh, completely, precisely play by the book. And that's because this is virtual. You don't want their freaking digital algorithm finding out and predicting exactly how you play. You got to change it up a few times. You got to do a few things that aren't uh, technically the correct play. That way they don't just completely figure out what you're going to do. There's still got to be some element of, um, 
you know, you, you want to have some sort of impact on these hands. And the way you do that on a virtual game is to throw them a curveball every once in a while. There we go. That's a double situation. A nice 20. We'll take it. We'll take it. What a good run. We're up $192. I'm going to cash it out. And let's go check in on the basketball game. It was actually a decent start for the Pacers. There's Siakam with the slam. And after the first quarter, a six-point lead. Decent start. Promising. Back to roulette. Right back to the games. That's seven spins in a row with high numbers. So we're going to bet low here. One through 18. Just a $10 bet. Let's try and get a W. There we go. We start the second session with a $10 win. And you probably guessed it. Right back to blackjack. Let's go. Obviously a very frustrating series of hands going on. They're making it difficult. Nothing's coming easy. I'm having to hit virtually every single time. Every hand I'm at a statistical disadvantage with four cards down. So we're fighting from behind and nothing's really coming through right now. <laughs> First good hand in a minute, and the dealer makes 20. Wow. Oh my god. Bringing my bet size down to $25. <laughs> Not for long, they give me a split hand and then a double. And of course a freaking two comes. This one I'm not allowed to double or I'm not allowed to split. We just take the 18 and hope for a bust. There we go. Okay, now we're on a bit of a roll. We're back in profit, so I'm going back to roulette. Check out the last three spins, three high numbers. So we're gonna bet the first and second thirds. 
And so any number 1 through 24 and I'm happy. With that victory, I'm gonna cash out of session two, $100 higher than we started session two with. I headed to the food truck and ordered what they call tater kegs. After putting on the appropriate amount of ketchup, relish, and sour cream, they looked pretty good. They were pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, by the time I was done enjoying them, you know, I'm sitting there watching the Lakers and the Pacers and the Pacers have lost their lead by halftime. Taking a break in the car at halftime. We've done well running the balance up, obviously. I'm gonna do some halftime play though. We're, we're gonna we're gonna try and increase this even more. Gotta be careful. The tough thing is this could go away in a heartbeat. <laughs> and I know that. We could lose all this during halftime. And then we'd be really behind the eight ball because uh, this $120 isn't looking very good on the Pacers either. Um, but overall, I'm gonna try to stay positive because we got a chance tonight. We got a good start and a chance tonight to have our best casino vlog result yet, if we can continue on the pace we're on. Start of session three, I'll be playing this video at 1.1 X speed, because I'm hoping that will disguise it enough. That'll disguise the background music enough so that YouTube doesn't pick it up as a copyright strike. That'll get y'all some actual like casino background audio instead of just me narrating over background music. My goodness. Holy crap, we're gonna double this. We're gonna freaking double down. Bang! Bang! Get off me! Get off me! What a ride we're on right now. What a ride. What a ride. Is that our first blackjack of the night? No, we had one earlier, right? We had one on a $10 bet. What a ride, bro. We're in a good spot, let's go. Five low numbers in a row, two in a row on the lowest third. We're gonna load up here. 60 bucks on the table. No more bets. Thank you. 
Looking for a high number. Come on now. We like that. We like that. Hey, let's cash this out. From 200 to 637. We're having a good run on the casino floor, but every time I check in to the sports book, things are getting worse and worse for the Indiana Pacers. It's not going well watching the Pacers. We're down 17 points headed into the fourth quarter. It's hard to ever have a lead in a game where you're on pace to give up 154 points. <sighs> Even... You know, we're we're probably gonna lose this one hundred twenty dollars. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and act like this is gone. <laughs> we're still what are we up? We're still up three hundred and seventeen dollars right now. I can either take this inside and cash it out, and we can leave right now, or I can take this back inside, and we can go on one more session and try and run this up even higher. For better or worse, I'm going in for another session, partly because I found a machine with 60 cents already in it. Right there, sitting ready for me from the previous loser. So my fellow gamblers know, say, hey, sometimes you will lose $637 in an effort to chase 60 cents. So here we go. <laughs> Let's do some more gambling. Back to roulette, last three spins, 1, 25, and 34 all on the bottom column. So we're going to bet the opposite columns. I end up making a mistake here while recording. I accidentally touched the screen, $10 on 31 and 34. Did not mean to do that. I had no time to remove that bet. So here we go. We've got a winner on the bet we wanted to make, but freaking the 31 and 34 cost us 10 bucks. So to make up for it, we've got a few in a row on red, quite a streak of red right there behind the 24s. Look at that. So let's bet black to make our $10 mistake back.
out. Please place your bets. No more bets. Thank you. Oh, the wheel's frozen. The winning number is zero. Wow. Bets, on a frozen wheel. Yeah, right. Come on now. No more bets. Thank you. It's frozen again. Dude! What the crud? I can't trust this wheel, bro. Wow! Wow. What is up with this wheel? No more bets. Thank you. There, it's finally not frozen. We finally get a clear picture here. Come on, I need this one. I guess we'll still play even for a little bit. New wave, scout, sip pop. No more bets. Thank you. And it's frozen again, y'all. It's frozen again. Nah, dude. What are we what am I supposed to do about this? I think that's even. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Let's go back to a game that I can trust. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I can trust it or not, but let's do it anyway. Nice hit. There we go. We're not far away now from $800. Let's try and get there with one win. Oh, that's a push. Let's try one more time. Let's get there. Dealer bust. There it is. $800 from $200. Let's go back to roulette. I'm trying to win ten more dollars. I'm trying to win ten more dollars, and I have a reason for that. Bam! That's gonna do it. Eight hundred ten dollars. Look at it. All right, it's time for the final spin of the night, where my subscribers have a chance to win. Oh wait, you don't know what I'm talking about? Let me give you the context. I went live on the way to the casino, and because I will always give back to those who support me, I presented this offer. The first five people to put a roulette number in, at the end of the upload that I'm fil filming tonight, I will bet on your number for you. All right, so there's our five. We got Giggity with zero, Brandon with 29, Mike with 19, Sean with 12, and Bud Soda on 21. Good luck to y'all. At the end of my next upload, the very last roulette spin that I do is going to be that spin right there. And if one of your numbers hits, I will give you $30. So here we go with it. Zero for Giggity, 12 for Sean, 19 for Mike, 21 for Bud Soda, 29 for Brandon Diaz. Because there's a $10 minimum per spin, I have to pick five numbers of my own. If any of these numbers hit, will consider it my win. No more bets. Thank you. Don't tell me the wheel's frozen on the freaking final spin of the night. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, y'all. Wow. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, 12 1. 12 hits. Congratulations to the winning subscriber, Sean, aka Slot Videos. It's awesome that not only did I get a win tonight, but so did one of you. Here's the end of the Pacers Lakers game. It's an L. Rip that ticket up. Put it in the trash. But, you know, it's okay. We still had a good night. I'm still looking at a juicy ticket to take to the counter. Let's give it to the nice lady that eventually told me to quit recording. <laughs> Here I am outside with the cash. I've got my cash out money. Um, 200 of this was mine to begin with. That was our starting bankroll. Um, 30 of this goes to my roulette final spin winner. That's my buddy Sean. I'll Venmo you, Sean. There's 606 and 60 cents left. Um, but consider the fact that we lost $120 on the Pacers. My real profit for the night, $486.60. My best performance in a casino vlog yet. Listen, I'm going to do the roulette final spin thing again. With five of you who comment under this video, go ahead and give me another number. I'm going to pick five of you randomly. At the end of next video, we'll do the same thing. So you've got a chance next time if you didn't win this time. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long video. Um, I hope you had as much fun as I did. What a night. I will see you guys next time on Welty. What's that? You can't have your phone out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs>